Have you seen Morshu's Paradise video? No. But I have seen... This Morshu. Lamp oil! Rope! Bombs! You want it? It's yours, my friend! As long as you have enough ruby! Sorry, Link. I can give credit! Come back when you're a little... richer! Okay! So, welcome back to PS2 Budget Titles. Last time I, I did this, um, we only got a couple games in just because there were so many and I started so late. Okay, it's because I started it so late, but now we have at least an hour. So we're going to take a look at some of these budget titles and see how budgety they are. Don't remind me of last week's budget titles. So anyway, um, what are we going to look at today? How about a game called... Definitely not Party Girls. We're going to play a different game this time called Radio Helicopter. So this is a European game. Don't believe it was released in the West here. Well, I say <laughs> in the U.S., not the West. You know what I mean? Could be wrong, though. You never know with D3 Publisher. Best media! Are you able to read the words on the screen? <laughs> <laughs> Debatable. Here we go. Radio helicopter. Once again, I got a radio controlled helicopter for my birthday. Boy, I will have fun this summer. It's been a while since I broke my last one. Hope I haven't gotten too sloppy with this. Well, I'll just practice in my room for now. Okay, this doesn't seem too bad. It's it's just Okay, it seems like it's an innocent game, but where's the anime girls that are going to show up? So the camera is very very difficult. Actually, this game controls pretty bad. Um, step on all art objects. Wait, step on? The concept is... Oh. Very realistic physics. <laughs> uh, the concept is cool. Like, I can see this being a Pilot Wings-esque thing. It's just so budget. It's, it's so budget that it's bad. You may as well just play GTA Vice City. But yeah, these controls are extremely touchy. Amazing! Amazing! Oh, 
What the fuck? That registers as a crash? Alright. I really don't want to try budget hel helicopter again, chat, or radio helicopter. We can do this instead. We can do, um, special forces. The helicopter blades touch the walls. Um, the note for the previous game was, this is one of the worst controlling games I've ever played. Say again, deputy? The maniacs in the mailbox! I don't know what that was. Okay, so we'll we'll try this. Start game. D3 again. I don't think all of these games are D3. characters and events depicted in this game are fictional. Thank God. Thank God we know that. Twenty fifteen AD. The SACT they should have just called it SCAT was established to defend the nation against terrorism. It is considered to be Japan's best defense unit and operates under the most dangerous situations. It's comprised of the cops, who are the best of the best, and that includes Space Cop. They strive to subdue terrorism, minimize criminal activity, and save the lives of millions. <laughs> but SACT can handle this. All right, so the faces are very good already. Select weapon. I somehow don't think the weapon even matters. There's like three weapon. Maybe you unlock more, I don't know. But here they are, Chris Beckett. That's a... why the long face? Uh... Ray Saito. In spite of his good looks. In spite of his good looks, he's highly sophisticated. Okay. I hope you don't mind that I skipped some of the story. Yeah, I'm trying, uh, easy mode. <laughs> Whoa. Stealth gauge has been charged. You will not be detected for a short period of time. Oh wow, I've become Otacon Stealth! Inverted aiming only. The button used to become stealth is the same button, um, to shoot. There are many robbers in the convenience store. Careful not to be noticed. What a fucking awful game.
the aiming, it just snaps back. It's really bad, chat. You have killed the criminal. Remember, your aim is to arrest the target. Oh my god. I think the my partner just killed that dude. Well done, partner. The door can be opened or shut. You can open it. I don't know how to open it. It's not working. Excuse me. Taking a whiz? Are were you really taking a whiz during this situation? This is not the time for a whiz. But when you gotta go... I guess I just picked up... a power-up. Very realistic game. Are there more? Yeah, you have sneaked up, uh, deprive him of will. Chat, I can't switch to a different weapon! Member, <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> we good? You good? I guess the situation is resolved peacefully. Yo, <laughs> amazing aim. God. Oh, okay, good. All right, well. I didn't even know I was taking damage. I wasn't looking at my health meter. <laughs> I didn't know there was damage happening. On one level, I thought maybe he was just missing every shot. Car Racing Challenge is next. Five oh five Game Street, another I don't know what they do. But when I see that, this is sure to follow. I mean, we couldn't... We couldn't bear... the reality of not seeing D3 publish one of these games. Game is fictitious, has no relations to any real organizations, etc, etc. Goya here lives Japan's self-proclaimed number one detective. His name is Ugawara Genkuro, and his five o'clock shadow is his hallmark. <laughs> A few days ago, he got an assignment. 
A lady from Tokyo, a member of parliament, asked him to investigate a corrupt politician. It seems this lady had an important deal going on. Oh, the music is like, bah. Politician smelled a rat, and now he's discrediting her with a series of smart, false accusations. To clear the accusations, Ugawara has had to investigate the politician cautiously. His task was to make sure that the information the lady had was correct by gathering clues one by one. Oh, this is a racing game, I forgot. I can't believe how good that 5 o'clock shadow is. Chat, what even- how does one even contort their skull? This is- what is this, like, meat creature? This is like a horror game. The fuck? It's Nemesis from Resident Evil 3. You would never expect this to be a racing game if you just saw that intro. If this was called something different, I would have been like, oh, this is- this is just a detective game. Auto drive? Uh, that's how that happens? This car is made of adamantium. Aside from the resolution, this doesn't really look like a PS2 game at all. This really does look like a PS1 game, just bumped up in frames and re resolution. Gran Turismo 2 looks better than this, honestly. <clears throat> Police are approaching. Um, okay, so you crash into two cars and then your car goes uh, gets on fire. Oh, but you can do this. Well, that's GTA. Yo, oh, when cars explode, they disintegrate. I didn't know that. The time limit is four hours. Four real hours. Oh, we've got plenty of time. Chat, this could be my entire Sunday stream. smash um wait what what is this what is this line of vehicles doing here Okay, well, I have four real-time hours, which is good, because I'm only... I'm only running. Okay, that's cool. Oh, finally! Fugitive can't be found! It's worth it to get run over so you can actually get a car. Chat, it was worth it. So, if you look at the meter at the top, from start to goal, it seems like I'm 
making better progress than the amount of time that I have left would lead me to believe. But I, I have a feeling that you will be leaving your car frequently. Uh, I say leaving, I mean the thing... It, the, the controls are so touchy. They're so bad. You need to destroy four target cars. Attempting to destroy other cars means that my car gets pulped. Dude, Body Harvest controlled better than this. With its emulation issues, it was way better than this. Excuse me, I need this. <laughs> oh, so that's good. Yep, just run onto the other side of the highway. Right into traffic. You got boost power! World record for fucking a car up. The HUD changes when you get into different cars. That's the best feature of this game. Okay, so there's no iframes, so if you crash into a barrier, you will likely get many points of damage over and over and over again. Oh shit. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, I can't take it? Oh. Didn't even have a gun in his hand. Yeah, go through. Nice. Yeah, go through. Yeah. That was car racing challenge. It certainly had cars in it. The mini Bijou Kaiken is next. You don't know about Mini Bijou Kaiken? Come on, chat. You have to know about Mini Bijou Kaiken. Been waiting years for this. I finally, after all this time, Mini Bijou Kaiken is on the menu. Lads. The. It's the only word that's available. For us, for us English speakers. For us, for Oh, no. Oh, no. What is this? Read. Got through three levels. <laughs> Mini Skirt Police is the name of this game. No. It's the mini skirt police. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll just never mind. I can't tell if I'm pressing the right buttons. Guess I pressed the right button. Oh my god. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> 
周囲には何名もの敵が潜んでいる騒ぎになれば周りの連中がすぐにでも火星に来るだろう音を立てずこいつを始末するんだ I don't know what his crime is I don't know chat That is the fastest fully standing to crawling animation I've ever seen. Instant chalk outline. What the fuck? Yo! Oh shit! What? It's this kind of game? Oh no! Oh no! Why only the clothes? That's not how this works! Okay. 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 Oh, I have grenades, chat. How do I use grenade? Uh oh. Oh no, what's this? It's creepy. Creepy things are happening. Creepy. Creepy! Oh man. I, I... <sighs> Apparently, this game has some of the worst shooting mechanics. But they're on a, a future level that I'd have to actually try to get to. Level 3. Yeah, this is intended by the devs. Of course, this is not a mod. It's not a mod. There's not much more I need to see of this. Sure, you can get to level 3 and see some terrible shooting mechanics, but... You, you get it. You know what this game is for. You know why it exists. <laughs> so the next one is... Tyson! Bakadan Poi Poi. There was a video included in the folder. Ministry of Information. You've seen it. I'm sure most of you have seen it. <laughs> just type Borat Night City. <laughs> he just explores Night City, that's it. Hang on, chat. Before we begin, I need, uh, I actually do need a Tums. Jokes aside, I haven't had one in a while, but at the moment I could use one. Mario, would you teach me some Italian? Oh, of course! Mario, it's not from the game. Cool. Okay, thanks. Mario, would you teach me some Italian? Oh, of course! At a heavy Amore dinner. means love. Okay, thanks. Mario, would you teach me some Italian? Oh, of course! Buono means good! Okay, thanks. Mario, 
Would you teach me some Italian? I had Italian food. Oh, I had that macaroni. Amico means friend. Sunday sauce. Okay, thanks. Okay. Well, that was from Shenmue, so... Okay, I don't know um, what's going on here. I don't know the actual translation of this. 20XX. There were anime girls. And with big bombs. It's Bomberman, but, but schoolgirl anime. So I can be- oh my god, look at these animations. Oh, of course there's a robot. It's the main character, chat. Vinny, you played this? I swear I don't remember it. I don't think I've played this. Be the drunk salesman. I think I'm, um... That's my opponent. It seems to be, yeah, real, real-life Bomberman. Look at all these... Sprite... <laughs> bike sprites. Why are there so many bikes? It, yeah, it's, it's bomb. oh. It really is kind of like Bomberman, and I don't think I've played this. Good AI. Part of what made Bomberman, uh, appealing is that it was like a really... simple game attached to a grid. Unless you're talking about Bomberman 64, which is a whole different thing. Oh, so there's more than one drunk salesman. There, there are many. Upper right, so- oh, okay, I see. So there's- there's like clones, like Dreeb clones. Chat, this is the most amazing thing I've ever witnessed. Any of the Kirby transformations, they've got nothing on Bomb Anime Schoolgirl. Poison? Oh, sleep. Sleep with John. Bomb with John? I guess I won. I feel like I didn't even do anything. Thirty minute time limit? What's with these games having... ...like, exorbitant amounts of time limit? I'm okay with that, by the way. I'd rather more than less, but... Jesus, thirty minutes. I feel like this could be a Tony Hawk level. I mean, this might be the best game I've played tonight. That's not saying a lot. This is still pretty fucking bad. It's really unfortunate. I think I could probably win this by not doing anything. I mean, you have a couple different options here. The camera does not agree. Camera is very disagreeable. It's when the camera is mistrustful. Uh, but, you know, you, you kind of just... Yeah, you play it like Bomberman. 
It ain't good, but it's not the worst I've played tonight by a long shot. As long as you avoid the explosions, you probably will win. Because they're gonna just- the AI is gonna just set a bunch of bombs near each other and, and they're gonna die. More of them. Oh wait, no, 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 no. The the drunk school, uh, the the drunk businessman, in fact, is not the target. In the interest of seeing more games. You've, I think you've just seen the whole thing. So let's move on. Project Minerva Professional. A lot of times when I play games like that, or from the simple series or budget titles, you can pretty much see what the entire scope of a game is going to be like in the first 10 minutes. Maybe even a little bit less. Sure, they may, you know, they may be another gun or another character or another level, but. But hey, chat, these games were cheap. You'd pick these up in the budget bin. That's real life footage, I think. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay. So far, the, um, let's say the production value is shot up for this game. Excuse me. It's still D3, but we have cutscenes. We have FMVs. We've got readable menus for folks such as myself that don't speak Japanese. We have an attempt at a style. The bar is very low. The bar is very low. Ah, Akinobo Abe. Love that guy. I wonder if he spells it with the one lowercase e. Music would really pump this thing to the next level. Just a little longer, okay? I saw a hole in her neck. I saw it. There was some, like, missing polygons. Okay, whatever you say. That was the most unexpected turn that cutscene could have taken. I could think of a couple more unexpected ones, but that was still pretty goddamn unexpected. I don't know why she became War Sephiroth. But hey, war never changes. Chat, let's play Guess the Genre. Is this a fourth-person shooter? Damn, it's third-person. Never mind. Oh boy. Uh, I think I take back what I said about production value. Binocular mode.
I really wish we didn't have to do the tutorial. I, I'd rather just, like... Try marking the enemy again. R marking it again is called remarking. It means that you're done p checking out that particular bad guy. Absolute beginner mode. Isn't this the uh, golden eye shotgun sound? Sure is lots of tutorials. Oh, dear lord. Roger. I'm just, I want to just fight one couple enemies. That's it. Wait until you get into the RTS town management and dating sim sections. Oh, that's awesome. They got that. <laughs> Truly, this game has everything. You, you can't just shoot. You know what I mean? Like, there's no just regular shoot. You have to aim with the sniper rifle. Good to see my team members being useful. My favorite game setting is giant empty open field. I love giant empty open field. Yep, we'll get there. It's okay, chat. I have an hour to complete this mission. <laughs> We're really seeing a theme tonight. The real reward is knowing that you survived playing an hour of this game. And then you look back and you're like, wait a minute. I just spent an hour playing Sniper 3. It's, it wasn't worth it to sit through the tutorial. It's just as generic as you can get, and it, it really doesn't have as much as I thought it had going for it, aside from an FMV at the beginning, which I will say looked better than I expected. The next one from Simple 2000 series is called the Bushido. The Bushido. The Bushido. Hey. Hey. 
Uh, uh, what? Uh? Uh? I hear some high quality microphone. Has sword, doesn't use it. Did you ever see uh, Clint Howard in the original Star Trek? Uh, this is kind of a semi-deep cut, but not really. This enemy I'm fighting looks like a grown-up version of the Clint Howard baby from that episode. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, if you saw the new Red Letter Media video, then you know exactly what I'm talking about, actually. Sir, my opponent has no honor. I don't know uh, if anything <laughs> here is going to change, but it's three enemies now huh? instead of one. <gasps> the thing always huh? goes the same way. There's an insult, the music gets tense, the battle begins. Well, again, from a gameplay perspective, there's at least a block button. Uh, it, it could be worse. Look at that! That was cool, right? I mean... Hey, this this is not... I mean, it's still not good by any means, but it's not the worst. The gameplay... I, do you remember that game I played last time? Last week? Where I only had one move? It's not that. It's not that. And that's a compliment for a, you know, a game in a budget series. Especially from a developer that doesn't seem to give a shit. Uh, this next one is called I Don't Know, and I'm not looking it up because I, I don't want to go back into the folder. I don't really care. So, 505 Game Street and D3, that's all you need to know. Space War Attack. <laughs> you couldn't get more generic of a title than that. Oh, well, this, you know, CG water. To the survivors of planet Earth for about 10 years, we humans, be be human beings, have been boldly waging a difficult war against aliens. Giant spaceships, countless assault crafts, blood curdling biological weapons. Eh. Population has decreased at a ratio of 1 to 500. X day is approaching. The human race will challenge the aliens. It's like Independence Day. Yep, it's Independence Day.
or EDF, sure. Is that my name? A A A. It's, um, it's okay, so far. Denisaw 6-9er, 6-9er is currently playing. Why did I do a bad job? Oh, fuck. Oh, those are good- I thought those were alien buildings, chat. Enemy shot down by allies, like, oh, oops. I I'm trying to shoot missile. I don't know what missile button is. I think I found the missile button. I was gonna say, this isn't too bad, but it's still pretty crusty. Oh, I have no more missiles. I don't really know what to say. Just generic. Buccaneer is next. We can do a couple more. It is getting late, but I can, I can get a couple more going. Yeah, generic space Independence Day shoot. It reminds me of that PS1 Independence Day game where you were playing and you had to shoot Alien, and uh, it didn't look much better than that. But it was, it was decent. It was just, um, bland. Vinny, this is DMC. DMC or DMCA? If DMC, that's fine. Buccaneer? No, I, wait, no. It's like a pirate game. Fortune, fame, power. In search of these glories, I became a pirate, traveling without a destination. Stopping by at a port side inn to replenish supplies, I heard rumors of demonic waters, a sunless region shrouded in a mysterious mist. All the rest as well, too. Look at all that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it is DMCA. <laughs> Sorry, I mean DMC. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's Dante, but a pirate! I was in no way convinced that this was a combat action stylish game. Oh, the camera is nauseating. <laughs> D 
DMC has this uh, wonderful smooth gameplay. And this isn't terrible, but it's kind of hard to go from one attack to the next. It doesn't really feel good. I don't know how to explain it. It's just very stiff. But, I mean, what's to be expected from D3? That said... Oh, that's kind of cool. That said, I have to give credit, as this may have just sur surpassed the other game. This now may be the best game of the night. I can already see the repetition, though. It's, uh... Again, a very low bar. It's an extremely low bar, um, and there's... I guess Warriors games, the enemies go down very quickly, the scrub enemies, and in this they just, um, it doesn't feel like they're going down quick enough. Sorry, Chad. I'd like to show you more of the pirate game, but I'm already bored. Paparazzi. I think will be the last game of the night. Still, for a DMC clone, you know, d Devil May Try. Why do you have a bad feeling about this game? What, because it's called Paparazzi? No, it's fine. It's it's probably fine. I don't I don't think there'll be any intrusive pictures or anything. It's gonna be just fine, probably. Totally blown away by this girl. Her name is Riho. You can only meet her to take pictures of her. And after all, she doesn't even know me. Because of this, I've asked my friend, Akira, who knows a lot about these things, to gather some information. I've got an interesting piece of news. It comes straight from Riho Fan Club. A photo session. No one will ever know you're just an amateur if you're close enough and get pictures. I feel like a heat across my, my entire being right now. So... Yo, yeah, we'll just... Something is going on here where, where a thing isn't... I'm not able to... do a thing. Hang on. Controller is not working properly right now. Should be... D-pad left. Yeah. Weird. Go. Start. And now other things aren't working? <sighs> um... I'm- this is not a joke. Chat. fucking thing crashed. I swear. Chat. 
it seems really fortunate, but the thing just crashed. I'm going to try it again. I am legitimately going to try one more time. I probably should just let it. Just let it be. But I'm going to try it again, chat. Vinny, it's a bad omen. I know, chat member. I know it is. It looks like it works now. <sighs> Shit. Okay, well now that your, um, suspense has been built up, I'm going to assume it's just like the photo mode in Metal Gear Solid. And it's gonna be fine. There's gonna be quite a crowd here. You're looking good, but you still haven't found a good spot. Choose a spot. Wow, so much choice. See you later then. I'll just slowly move away. Normal human walking animation. Animation. Oh, dear lord. Come on. I'm wearing my everyday clothes. So if you can make me feel like I'm among friends, I might be able to relax. <laughs> Why do they rotate? They, like, rotate... Time five minutes? Oh, I was expecting three and a half hours. I I've made a mistake by trying to do the tutorial. Got it. I can't, I can't believe how much there is to this. I'm I am shocked that there's this much to this game. Confirm, yeah. You're good. Go. Still explaining stuff to me. I'm amazing. Oh, my God. How is there that much tutorial? Shouldn't Akira doing be doing the pictures? Like, that dude knows his shit. Probably for all the wrong reasons. Oh my god. Well, the, um, the analog stick is extremely bad. Memorize the order of the buttons. Success. <laughs> Yo, camera! What the fuck?
Nice shadow. Um... Chat, this is really... I've never seen anything like this. I think the shadow is a glitch. Okay, I'm casting for my new movie. <laughs> wow, I, I took a picture of that shadow and the other shadow went away. <laughs> no, no more. More shadowing. Oh, very good. Good shadow. Chat, I, I can't I can't do any more of this, honestly. I'm worried about my stream. <laughs> I'm worried about my stream. <laughs> and sanity. Test. End session. Okay, let's at least end the session. That we can do. Picture, we can't miss her. Uh, get the picture. Today's picture is next time he is gone. This game is rated Peggy 3 plus. What? Um, there are a lot of bad pictures. There's a couple good ones. So th that's a good one, that's a good one. That's somehow a good one. That's a bad one? Good one, good one. Out of focus, out of fo- <clears throat> There's a good one, there's a good one. Bad one. <laughs> <laughs> bad? It, what, Shadow Crotch is a bad picture? Come on. Somehow that's a good picture. Okay, sure. If you say so. And these were all good pictures. Best. That's best shot, because it includes Shadow Crotch. Well, there you go, chat. Um, that's paparazzi. It was actually probably maybe even a little worse than chat thought it would be. And that's PS2 budget titles for the night. There's still enough for one more... Yeah, there's one more stream worth of budget titles. Here's some bonus material. Oh, okay. So anyway, thank you for watching uh, PS2 budget titles. Thank you, Yakababi, for making the pack. Who who made this? Um, Yako Madobi. Yako, Yako Madobi. Thank you for that, for making this. Success. The stream was a success. Uh, if you usually leave right after the stream, I'm going to be doing some art, and you should stick around because the artists in this community are very good, and I appreciate them. You might like the art tonight. But if you gotta go, it's late. I understand that. But here's what I will say. I'll be streaming more during the week. Spyro 3. Maybe something different. 
that we haven't seen. And uh, other stuff that I've been streaming as well, including another cyberpunk stream <laughs> of fresh shrimp. Um, but also maybe some Spelunky and a whole bunch of other shit too. So... Mario, would you teach me some Italian? Oh, of course! Amore means love! Okay, thanks. Mario...